This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of January. As cold as three below zero in Alabama this morning. Wow. Cold again tonight, but we start to dig out of this tomorrow. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon as we peek out the window. That is an icy Tennessee River. The scene from the sky cam up in Decatur. Uh, they're in the low 20s. Tuscaloosa Sky Cam now. If you didn't know any better, that looks nice and warm, but it's only about 26 there with a bright sunny sky. And even on the Gulf Coast, it's 31 degrees at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Just remarkable. Well, our big trough in the east will be lifting out in coming hours and days. The pattern will begin to de-amplify. That means a warming trend after tonight. Peak of temperatures around the nation, still a sub-zero cold up north, and we are only in the 20s and teens around here today. And it's going to be cold again tonight. We'll be down in the 10 to 18 degree range tomorrow morning. Uh, not as cold as this morning, but cold enough. But after that, we'll finally rise above the freezing mark by midday tomorrow. Still got hard freeze warnings in effect for the deep south. But notice the number of wind chill warnings are starting to decrease up north, and that's a good thing. Here's the rain for the next seven days. So this goes through Tuesday evening of next week. And this is showing rain amounts of about two to three inches here. And, you know, the weekend could work out to be pretty wet, as you'll see. And, again, we'll watch the uh, initiation of this next batch of precipitation west of the state. It could form in the fa fall in the form of freezing rain uh, over parts of Arkansas, Missouri, maybe down into uh, the Memphis area. Uh, this is valid from late tomorrow night until Thursday night, but we don't expect anything like that around here. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. Notice how the pattern has indeed de-amplified. This is the flow at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. And oh, but down below that, again, we start the day uh, down in the middle teens, but the high should be around 40 as the 540 thickness line retreats up into Tennessee, and the sky will be mostly sunny. Thursday, precipitation begins to break out. And again, Thursday morning, there could be some icing problems around Memphis and Little Rock if you're traveling in that direction. But uh, that should stay west of the state around here. Uh, we'll expect a mixture of clouds and sunshine and a pretty decent chance we see a high near 50 on Thursday afternoon after starting the day in the 20s. And this is Friday. We think the day will be dry. The warming trend continues. Mid-50s are likely. Uh, the main batch of rain on Friday, well to the west of here, across the southern plain states. And this is Saturday as we start the weekend. And really, uh, you can see a trough coming at us. We've got the northern segment and then a southern part, that upper low hanging back around the Rio Grande. And I'm afraid it's going to come out in two parts. The northern part of it affects us on Saturday, and the southern part affects us on Sunday, meaning it's probably going to be wet both days. Uh, here's the surface chart on Saturday, and you can see that initial batch of rain coming through, and that looks like a pretty good rain event. And again, we'll be in the 60s, so there might be a touch of thunder, especially over South Alabama. Now, this is Sunday, and here comes the next part. You can see that surface low around New Orleans with rain moving up into southwest Alabama by midday. And this is Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Surface low right on top of us or maybe near Montgomery. And that just looks wet uh, with a good soaking. So uh, uh, the weekend just uh, pretty wet. Temperatures Sunday should be in the 50s. Monday, that feature is on by. The sky will become partly to mostly sunny. I'd say the high Monday would be in the mid to upper 50s, and this is Tuesday. That will be dry. Temperatures very seasonal. That would be highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. Go out there a little uh, deeper in the month. This is the 19th of January, another trough in the east. And down below that, another shot of cold air. Nothing like this. And it uh, could be that the core of this really cold air stays a little east of here, but no doubt that'll be a cold shot. Again, that's in about 12 days. And then the end of the forecast on the 22nd, we've seen all kind of conflicts out here. We've seen some warm runs, some cold runs, some in-between. This is kind of in-between, suggesting uh, a cool pattern, maybe a few showers out there. But clearly, the latter part of January will not be as cold as this. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.